Bless the low warriors of God. Good morning, Derek. Lynn. We're praying for America and time spent with the word. I was just getting myself prepared and I heard these words. Your redemption draws near. Your redemption draws near. Freedom is so close. Freedom is fast approaching. Come on, somebody. And he who the sun sets free is free indeed. Father, we thank you, we praise you, we bless you, we welcome the breath of the Holy Ghost, we welcome the fire of the Holy Ghost, we welcome the wine of the Holy Ghost, we welcome the water of the Holy Ghost, we welcome the blood of Jesus right now. We thank you that nothing is done but by your spirit. So let the Holy Ghost be our helper on today, even as we come praying for America and spending time with the word. In Jesus' name, amen. Luke chapter number 21. Starting at verse 25, scripture says, And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon. We got the eclipse that is fast approaching. And there shall be sign, signs, plural, in the sun and in the moon and in the stars upon the earth, distress of nations. I saw so many stars last night in the sky. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> glory to God. With perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Unusual events happening across this nation. Watch and pray, my God. Men's heart filling them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken the powers of heaven shall be shaking and we shall see the manifestation of the powers of heaven shaken here in the earth father thank you on today oh glory to god mm -hmm. and then he says in verse 27 and then shall they see the sun S O N capital S O N of man coming in a cloud, not the clouds, but a cloud, because there are many clouds, but he will come in a cloud. My God help us and Father clear our eyes to see clearly on today with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass. When we see these things, the unusual signs in the, in the ocean, the unusual signs in the earth, the unusual shaking, the unusual sun, the unusual moon, come on, Holy Ghost, have your way. Because you're going to have the sun and the moon appearing at the same time. Because what is the moon? The moon is simply the cloud covering the sun. And what is the sun, my God? The sun is simply, my God, the same moon. Come on, Holy Ghost that shines bright in the day because the Bible says he caused the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. This, oh my God. When this eclipse began to, oh my God, manifest itself, he says, watch, why, watch, why, here is it. Then look <laughs> and lift up your heads. You see that? Why? For your redemption draweth nigh. Freedom. I just heard in my spirit, I can taste it. Mm, 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 mm. And freedom tastes so good. <laughs> freedom, 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 America. Let's pray. Father, thank you for this nation. That America shall be free again. America shall serve God again. America shall put God first again. In the mighty name of Jesus, America shall worship God in spirit and in truth again. The church in America will begin to put God first again. <laughs> The government shall rest upon the shoulders of our Lord Jesus Christ again, because that's what your word said, Father. And I'm asking you on today, even as we pray for America, let this nation see, know, and come to the full realization that it cannot function on its own. This is why our founding fathers 
dedicated this nation to the Lord because even they could not function on their own. I thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, that we are, my God, going back to the place where we seek the Lord first and his righteousness, and then all these things in this nation shall be added unto us in good measure, pressed down, shaking together and running over. Now this we pray for the USA today. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm -mm. America is coming back stronger than ever, even stronger than the days of our founding fathers because the people's eyes are open. The people's ears are hearing. My God, not what they are being lied to to hear, but they are hearing by the Spirit as the words of wisdom the spirit of wisdom. Come on, somebody. The gift of the word of wisdom is being released. Well, until the next time, the Lord be with you and also with me. The Lord bless you and may be strong in the Lord and the power of his might put on the whole armor of God. We have a day to face today. But one thing is certain, God made this day. Therefore, we will let no one who cannot create a day mess up our day. We are going in the joy of the Lord, anointed by blood, saved by blood, defended by blood, protected by blood, blessed by blood, my God, promoted by blood. Come on, somebody, in the mighty name of Jesus, favored by blood. And there is nothing no demon sent from hell can do to us. Why? Because when they see the blood, they have to skip us. Come on, Holy Ghost. Thank you. In Jesus Christ's name. Well, until then, worries is shalom.